Whoa, 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 welcome to the NBA desktop. Let's get into the feed. It's so gar to say goodbye. Oh, a real one lost his job this week. I'm talking about Gar Foreman. That's right. The only human being on planet Earth named Gar. Did his parents think they were in like 10,000 BC or something? What were the other kids they have like? Gunda, Ajaka, Guac, Gar. <laughs> What are you naming this guy Gar? And now let's look back on the storied 22-year career of Gar Foreman. Welcome to the BMI starting five. With the NBA on a break, which players will be the most out of shape when the league returns? For our contestants here today, Kevin O'Connor, Chris Ryan, Haley O'Shaughnessy, can you assemble the most winded starting five in the NBA using $15. Chris Ryan, you have the first pick. So I'm gonna zag. I know I that there's probably a lot of people who've been scouted. I think what's crucial is that ordinary behavior has been interrupted. Who is gonna be most thrown off by their training regimen being thrown off? And that's why with the number one pick, <laughs> I am selecting Kyle Korver. Whoa! <laughs> Kyle because Korver. This wow. guy is walking on the floor of the ocean with turtles to get his body in <laughs> the kind of shape he's in, right? Corver, he needs to have like these highly ornate workout routines. And when he comes back, he's probably gonna be looking like John Goodman. Let's call Kyle. I'll put him at $3. He's an older player. He's got a very specialized routine, as Chris noted. Up next, Kevin O'Connor. Who you uh, like in KFC? I mean, with the number one pick, this is an easy one, Jason. It's Luca Doncic, of course. How could it be wow. anybody but Luca? I like it. Tell me your thinking. Luca has a history of putting on a little bit of extra weight and already looking like an MVP candidate. What's the use? He's already accomplished a lot right now. It's just take some time off, rest, maybe put on a little bit of weight. Last couple of games may not go well, but that'll be a lesson learned for him heading into next season. <laughs> Haley, this is your moment. With my first pick, I'm picking Kyle Lowry. He's better fatter. So I think that there's a lot of ceiling there that he can get even bigger and not necessarily be as winded as you think. We don't know what his ceiling is. If he comes That's back right. looking like a cheesesteak, like we might be in for like one of the great <laughs> all-time point guard performances in NBA history. Haley, we're going serpentine. So you've got the next pick. Let's go Kevin Love. He's Kevin contractually obligated with Banana Republic and having a model girlfriend to stay in shape. And then I guess basketball too, okay. but I believe in it. You always go back to the ways. Kevin O'Connor, your pick. It's Mr. Chick-fil-A, Mr. Donuts, in between draft workouts. It's Mark Helfeld. Oh! Mark for $4 feels like a bargain to me. I'm very happy to bring him to my team. Famous round face guy. The diet, not the best. A good dollar amount deal for Markel Fultz. I like your thinking. Chris Ryan, you're on the board. I got a uh, really good value on Corver, so I'm going to go Draymond. Draymond is already a flip the switch player in terms of getting in shape. He has no reason to flip this switch. We're just going to roll it right over into the next season, and I emphasize rolling it. You pick again, Serpentine. I'm going to go with with Jokic. When $10. Matt Damon and Christian Bale get Jokic tuned up for like racing, he still <laughs> looks like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Imagine what he's gonna be like when he comes out of the house. It's an incredible pick by you. Kevin O'Connor on the clock. You've spent nine of your 15. Who do you like? Hold on, Chris. Before Kevin answers, can we just point out that Chris has spent his fifteen dollars? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's I pretty it good. I thought it was twenty. I know it was fifteen. <laughs> can I go over the cap? No. I'm light years ahead. If I'm willing to pay the repeater tax, can't I go over the cap? <laughs> Kevin O'Connor, you spent nine dollars. You spent ten on Jokic when Embiid is there for two bucks. Embiid is like really That's... conscientious right now, man. <laughs> well, I'm taking him. <laughs> I'm happy to take Joel Embiid. Embiid for two dollars. Haley O'Shaughnessy, you've spent eight dollars. Okay, I've spent eight dollars. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I was gonna pick Zion. I'm still gonna pick Zion, and I'm just gonna, You're gonna go. go I, you, <laughs> <laughs> Haley O'Shaughnessy going over the cap. <laughs> With Zion Williamson. I take it. Whatever the penalty is, give it to me. We've gone over the cap for two of our three contestants. Haley, you pick again. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. What if, out. We, what if me and Haley are only allowed to pick $1 people? 
Okay, from now on, that's it. You're you're hard capped, and it's dollar people. Haley O'Shaughnessy, your next pick. You spent 16 of your $15. Would you like to run the Knicks? I'm going to go with Russell Westbrook because he has oh. the most kids on this list, I think. He because gets- of the kids. Yeah. Interesting. Kevin O'Connor, you have spent 11 of your $15. Stream on green. Easy. The it's season's good. over. He's already not trying even before the season got <laughs> suspended. Great pick by you, KOC. Chris Ryan. Give me Nerland's Noel for a buck, because we know how Nerland's likes hot dogs. I love it. Nerland's Noel, great pick. Chris, you go again. This is my last pick. I'm gonna pick uh, LeBron James. First of all, a ton of sugar in wine. The tannins will slow you down. As an older guy, alcohol tends to show up in the in the waistline and in the face a little bit. KOC, your final pick. I have only two bucks left. None of the two yeah. two dollar guys remaining makes sense to me. I'm gonna stay on the board. I, I I'm gonna have a dollar remaining. Nerland's Noel. He's been suspended for marijuana before. You know what that makes you want to do? Gets you hungry. Um, Haley. Will you please price Pekovic and we'll bring him back for a dollar? He's not even you want to bring back. He? Hold on a second. You exactly. want to bring back Nikola Pekovic, so who's been out of the league for bad. like three can seasons. Charles three, Barkley? Four. You can go off the board, but you got to pick a player that's actually in the NBA. Unbelievable. All right. Then I will also, I'll copy Chris. I'll take Nerlens, the hot dog. I love it. I got to say, even with the $1 players and going over the cap, Jokic is just such a dominant force in this draft. He's a generational talent when it comes to being <laughs> out of shape. Um, I like what you're doing. KOC for the money, pound for pound. There's just like a lot of upside. Haley O'Shaughnessy, there's a lot of upside with Lowry and Love. I'm going to give KOC the, the top ranked team right now with, with Chris Ryan coming up behind and Haley in third. But I'm excited to see where this goes. And I'm going to be watching... We're, <laughs> we're gonna be. Such a sore we're gonna be. Loser. As Don't they be mad stagger. because Kevin and I put in the time scouting. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. This has been the BMI starting five draft. Fave blocks. Oh, holistic injury. Here is our good friend Brian Kilmeade at Fox talking about one of the real victims of this entire crisis, Tillman Fertitta, the owner of the Houston Rockets. Brian Kilmeade, take me to church. Well, the pandemic has affected everyone. Yes. But I could argue that maybe no one's been affected as as holistically as my next guest, Tillman Fertitta. That's right. No one has been affected more holistically in this crisis. Yes, people have lost their lives and they're losing their lives every day. But no one has been affected in the way that Tillman Fertitta has been affected. And I'm glad that someone fucking said it so we can really know where to put our sympathies. You're doing your people a favor to get them furloughed first because they're the first to the unemployment line after the severance that you give them. That's next level thinking, folks, and that's really caring about people. Don't wait to fire employees. Don't do that. If you teach a man to fish, he will eat for the rest of his life. That's why you fire him right away. I block it. Oh, the Jordan Challenge. Hey, the last dance will air this Sunday. So we wanted to celebrate this time by initiating the Jordan Challenge, which is can you dress just with what you have in your home like Michael Jordan? Let's take a look. First up, oh my God, this is incredible. Got the cigar, the sunglasses and the, sh- and the fisherman's hat. That's elite. The kind of just the general vibe is really good. I'm going to give this an eight. A solid eight. Next. Oh, the jeans are f- uh, incredible. First of all, I don't understand what's happening here. The crotch area of the jeans is troubling. It's two pairs of jeans. I'm wearing nothing in the back. It's just for the photo. Oh, I have to give this a 10 for the jeans. Next, we're looking at clashing patterns at Jordan Staple. I need the jeans to be approximately 300% bigger, but I like this and I love the clash of fabrics. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh, that's a great look. Jordan, he liked a pair of jeans that looked like a shark had been at him. Torn the fuck up. I'm gonna give it a seven. Next. First of all, I love the frayed jean bottoms. I'm gonna give this an eight. This is fucking pretty great. Next. Full denim jumpsuit plus 11 breads for the baby. Baby breads. I'm gonna give it an eight. Wow. This is the Jordan earth tone feel when he wants to cool it off. I'm gonna give it a nine. I think this is pretty good. I gotta tell you. 
Here we have Jordan on the move. This is pretty good. Everything fits too well though. I just wish everything was a little bigger, but the vibe, the energy is just right there front and center. I love it. I'll give it a nine because it's just incredible. Thank you to all our participants. Welcome here.